I love this stuff. Uh, oh, you're not supposed to open your mouth when you do that. <laughs> Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a get ready with me where I'll be doing a full face of cruelty free makeup and makeup products. It's get ready with me so I'm nice and zoomed in on my face. I'm still getting used to this. It feels weird. It feels really weird. <laughs> We're all up close and personal. Okay, here we go. I've done two get ready with me's and in the last two that I filmed I used wet and wild products I was very excited very happy to start doing cruelty free get ready with me's and using their products Unfortunately, and maybe you haven't heard that it has been discovered that wet and wild is in fact selling their products in China My favorite cruelty free reference site and blog site is cruelty free kitty And I really like her because not only does she do really really thorough research Research, she always gives the company fair chance to respond to her requests as far as information as to whether or not they are cruelty free and she does her due diligence to make sure whether or not they really are. I'll put uh, links in my description box with the article on cruelty free kitty as well as some videos that Jen Loves Reviews did about the whole thing with Wet n Wild. She is an excellent beauty reporter. She's kind of got this reporter vibe if you haven't subscribed to her and you don't know who she is. definitely subscribe to her if you want to be up to date on the latest beauty news. So Wet n Wild may still go around saying that they're cruelty free. I'm not sure what they're doing but I had just purchased this and I had just purchased this. This one is way too pale for me. I'm gonna donate this one. In my transition to cruelty free I do have a lot of products still from when I wasn't cruelty free that aren't cruelty free. I'm not just going to get rid of them. I think that that is wasteful on top of not being cruelty free. So I am using up a lot of products that aren't cruelty free and no judgment if you're not cruelty free I never want you to come to my channel feeling like you are left out or going to be judged if you aren't cruelty free I understand it is a decision that I made for myself and I just like to talk about it because it's part of my journey right now what I have done though is I have purchased some things from elf so I am going to start off with some elf products I have a whole bunch of stuff in front of me and I will show you them as I use them first thing that I want to use and I meant to show this to you and use it in the last get ready with me but I completely forgot this is the bear Republic mineral sunscreen and I keep wanting to call it bear minerals but it's bear Republic mineral sunscreen and I want to see how this wears under makeup I know a lot of you are really curious I do wear this every single morning I got this in a fat bit fun sale I recommend shaking it if you are going to use it and because there is a great deal of water separation so I shake it every morning before I open it it spreads out really well so a little really goes a long way it smells like baby powder it smells really good. I'm gonna use the finder as a mirror a lot in this video. I hope that's okay with you It spreads out really well. It just looks like this. It has kind of a powdery consistency So I'm just gonna put it on This right here, <laughs> that's my biggest insecurity on my face and skin problems. So you can see, even though it's a mineral sunscreen, it is transparent, you can't see it, it doesn't leave a white cast, so that's awesome. And then now I am going to go in with a primer. I kind of need you guys right now to put some tips in the comments below. If you see something I'm doing where you're thinking, there is a much better way to do that, please tell me. I do not claim to be a know-it-all. I'm not an expert. I'm just someone who really enjoys doing YouTube videos and interacting with her subscribers. I have this e.l.f. smoothing primer. They had one for dry skin that was out of stock, actually, that I really preferred to try over this one. E.l.f.'s really affordable as well, uh, just like Wet n Wild. And as far as I know, e.l.f. really is cruelty free. Wet n Wild, that was so disappointing. It looks like a lotion. Doesn't really have much of a scent at all. It feels very cooling. Very silicone-y. The last time I did a get ready with me, I tried to do my eyeshadow first before putting any <laughs> concealer on my eyelids and it didn't go well. So primer's done. Now I purchased their Flawless Finish Foundation 
in the color vanilla. This is light with golden undertones. So as far as I can tell, I think I have very neutral undertones. We'll see how well I matched my skin on this one. I did a terrible job the first time. This was the one I used the first time I did a Get Ready With Me and oh my gosh, I just turned so pale. I will link that video above me here. I can't get this open. Oh. You guys. I can't even open a foundation, let alone put it on. So I was trying to twist and twist and twist and it just it pops off like this. I have my beauty blender. It is not clean, but it is wet. I did, I did dampen it and I squeezed out the excess water and I am going to start by putting the foundation just directly onto the beauty blender and then we'll see how this goes. I put a lot on there. Oh, I wanted to just start with my eye but I put so much on here, I don't think that that's gonna happen this time. So I'm going to be putting on the foundation all over. So here we go. Oh, this is kind of perfumed. It smells nice. It's very light. How's that looking? I think I should have started off with less. I think that a little is going a really long way. Very wet. How does that look? I think I have, I think I'm putting on a little bit too thick of a layer. I think I'm getting the hang of using a beauty blender before. I think I was too aggressively. <laughs> like, I kept saying, I feel like I'm punching myself in the face and a couple of you said, you just need to bounce it on your face. You don't need to feel like you're punching yourself in the face. So I am definitely being very aware of just tapping and bouncing instead of aggressively jabbing it onto my face. I see a lot of women who do videos like this that, and they just use their fingers. I feel like it looks just fine. I don't know that this is my best color match, but we will see when I contour. What do you guys think? I'm going to really zoom in for you guys so you can see how my skin looks. I think that's the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation that I used in the last video. Applied better. Okay, I need my brushes. For now, I am going to work on my eyes first. Kinda wish I had remembered that I didn't wanna do my whole face of foundation before I did this. So I am going to use this brush that I didn't end up using in my last video. I'm gonna use this first. This is, oh, I'm doing full face of cruelty free and this is wet and wild. Ah, oh, wet and wild, you're so mean. Okay, I'm for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna use this because I want this to be a full face of cruelty free video. I will use this in a future video. I wanna do my contouring first. So I'm going to use this is the Pacifica Mineral, what is it called? You guys can read it. Natural Minerals. And this is a palette and it has coconut infused eyeshadows, cream highlighters, blush, and bronzer. Okay, so the inside of it looks like this. I found this at TJ Maxx for like $6.99. And then I saw it at Whole Foods a little while later for $27.99 or something. So that was a steal because the TJ Maxx compared to price was like $10. And I knew that that was way off because I know that I've seen Pacifica for much more expensive. So the top is the highlighters, the middle is the blush and bronzer, and the bottom is the eyeshadows. I'm gonna start with the blush and bronzer. And I have this Eco Tools brush. Well, no, I'm gonna use this one. Oh, this says skin perfecting. This one says round powder. So I'm gonna use the skin perfecting Eco Tools uh, brush for my bronzing and my blushing. Ugh, I hate how powdery. I always see Tati go like this. It's just, what a mess. How do you guys? <sighs> Okay, now, see, that's just such a mess. I don't know about this powdery stuff. Okay, so you can already see, oh, I'm, I'm gonna need. <laughs> I 
I could never do this all every day, but I do have a lot of fun doing this for these videos. One day I want to get like into some crazy makeup stuff. I watched Glam and Gore do a really, really fun goth look on her latest video. I think it was her latest video. She looks amazing. She's so good. I'm playing with doing my neck kind of planned on that this time around too. I think that that just looks like a big dark line or maybe not. It's amazing the difference when I film these videos versus when I actually see what they look like as a viewer. It's always better than I think. If you're thinking about doing videos, the video is always better than you think that it, that it was. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, and then I want to, oh, when are we supposed to do setting powder? I got some e.l.f. setting powder as well when I purchased all my e.l.f. products. I have seen with this whole baking thing that people do, am I supposed to bake? I think I, I'm supposed to bake after concealer. I don't have a cruelty-free concealer, so we're skipping concealer. I'm just gonna use a little bit more of the Flawless Finish Flawless Finish Foundation as my concealer to reinforce uh, under eye coverage. And then I wanna try baking. And this I wanted to try with my finger because like I said, I see a lot of women who do makeup on their channels just use their finger. I don't feel like it's going on as well though, but of course they are much better at this than I am. Oh, okay, well looking in the finder, it looks like it added more coverage. I should start playing with my ring light. I did that video about the ring light that I got sent. Oh! Does foundation stain? Shucks, hope it doesn't stain. Okay. Who was I watching? Nikki Tutorials. And she says to let concealer dry really well before you work on blending it out. Should I let it dry? Ugh. I'm losing sunlight. I'm gonna put the ring light. Okay, I think that helped a little bit. It's a really good ring light. So this is blotchy, so I'm gonna blend it out a little bit more. Now, I wanna try this e.l.f. setting powder. E.l.f. setting powder. And it's really simple, didn't come with its own brush. I think that I should put this on with a little spongy doohickey. This isn't what I think it is. Oh, I'm supposed to let it bake. I like these Eco Tools brushes. I got these at TJ Maxx as well. And then I'm gonna put on, using the same brush, I'm sorry. In this Pacifica palette, I was working with this, this bronzer, and now I'm gonna put on a little bit of the blush on my apples of my cheeks. Makeup's so messy. Just a little. Now we have the cream highlighters in this same Pacifica palette. I am going to try this peachy highlighter that was on the very far left. This one. I think I need more. Let's give that another roll. It's creamy. I think that this probably would be best applied with fingers. It smells nice. I don't know that this is applying very well. Again, it always looks different when I view it on my computer and I'm editing and 
all my videos always look much better than I felt like they did when I was filming. If you are thinking of doing your own videos, I will subscribe to you, I will watch you. There's no competition, there is room for you. Okay, I'm going to think about my eyes now. I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I am going to use this Kaylee Beach Babe Natural Brows Eyebrow Pencil. This came in one of my Petty Ver boxes. Petty Ver is a quilty free subscription box. I do unboxings on my channel if you're new to my channel I love it it is $18 a month and you get nice high-end cruelty free products in that box so I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows I have a really simple way I do my eyebrows and somebody at a Macy's counter one day taught me she said just go very gently against the way your eyebrow hairs grow and don't overdo it and then comb it out And then that's it, that's all I do. I've never used an eyebrow gel. I used to actually though when I was in high school, I used clear mascara to hold my eyebrows in place. So I'm gonna do the other side. They don't match. So that's that eyebrow pencil. My eyebrows are done. It's kind of bugging me. They are a little lopsided. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So now I'm going to use the eyeshadows in this palette. And I want to do a darker look. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do a darker look. So I think I'll start off with this dark one here, just on the outer edges. I'm going to use this Mary Kay one. I don't know. Is Mary Kay cruelty free? Is Mary Kay still around? So I'm starting with the real dark color and I'm going to start on the outer edges and I'm, I'm just going to pray. Oh, it's a little sparkly. Hey, I think I'm doing better. Except for they don't really match. <laughs> I did much better on this side than this side. Much better. I'm really proud of myself for this side. Can I just rub it off? Now I have to even them out. They're not even. Well, I'm just gonna proceed and see if maybe blending helps. I really wanna put on this pink one on the inner part of my eye. So this peachy one. I really like pink, in case you haven't been able to tell by my thumbnails. I tried to use this palette in my last Get Ready With Me and it really was not very pigmented. I'm giving it another shot because I think the issue was that I did it before I put on any foundation or primer or anything. Okay, so that eye is coming out quite nice. I want it to be darker. I want it to be overall darker and more dramatic. And I want to put... So this I used in my first Get Ready With Me and it is a real hair palette. I got this in my Fall Cause box. And when I tried it before, I didn't think it was very good. I, I do know that the brush that came with it, I do not like. It's so rigid. Maybe there are times where I will think Think, oh, I really need a rigid brush. Hey, I know where I have a rigid brush. So I'm gonna hang on to it, but I really didn't like it for applying the shadow. But I'm going to put on my brow bone this color fine. When I used it in that first Get Ready With Me, that color worked really, really well for the brow bone. I'm gonna do that now. Yeah, I really like it. It's nice and shimmery. For the sake of my eyes matching, I will go ahead and put this pinky color on the inner corner of my other eye.
Whoa, there is so much powdery stuff on the verge of going straight into my eye. This looks like a big splotch. How am I gonna fix that, you guys? Maybe? There. Okay, now I wanna do like the underline here. I'm gonna try it with this really dark color that I started out with on top. Every time I've done these videos, there's a point where I just get a little bit discouraged by myself when I'm doing my eyeshadow and I'm just like, I'm just calling them done. I'm calling them done. I'm calling them done. I started off strong. I felt really good. You know, I feel good about this eye. I do. I feel okay. <laughs> I feel okay about that eye. Good might be kind of a stretch. Okay, let's finish off the eyes with a mascara that I have talked about many times on my channel and I realized I've never shown it to you, like applying it. So it is the CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara. CoverGirl went cruelty free in like October of 2018. So that was really big news and I was very excited. It really opens up a whole new affordable brand in the drugstore. There aren't very many. Well, there are some, but like the really affordable ones, there aren't very many. So I'm going to put this on and I will zoom in even further when I edit. So you guys can see, I love this stuff. And again, if you guys are new to my channel, when I apply mascara, I like to start from the outside and push inward. That's why I'm doing that. And uh, then going in and spreading out my lashes. I feel like it puts more mascara on my outer lashes so you can get that look. Isn't that amazing mascara? It's like $6 on Amazon. I'll, I'll put Amazon links to everything that I'm using in the description box below. So if anything looks appealing or exciting to you, you can go check it out and see if you want to buy it yourself. The really interesting thing about this mascara is the spoolie is such an odd shape and it took me a long time to get used to it. So on two sides of it, it's flat and then there are two sides where you have the, I guess, prongs since they're not really brushes, it's plastic. And I think that's because you use the flat side to just kind of smear the product under your eyelashes and then you turn it and you use the prongs to spread your eyelashes apart. At least that's how I use it. This is just such fantastic mascara and this is an old tube I have a new one I need to open and then the final thing well second to final thing I have a new long-lasting lip color from covergirl and I am going to put this on to finish it up and then I have a spray that I'm gonna use a setting spray Wow, I've only used this one once before. I forgot that it's really dark. Wow, that is so dark. That's really pretty though, I really like that color. It's really hard to work with. It's very strange when you're not used to wearing a full face of makeup to look at yourself in the mirror with it on. So some matte long-lasting lipsticks come with the extra like lip gloss or hydrating translucent, translucent stick. This comes with one, some of them don't. I actually really prefer the long-lasting lip colors that do come with one, so this one comes with this. 
has a little bit of a candy scent to it. Smells good. The final touch is I'm going to use the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist as a setting spray. I love this stuff. Uh, oh, you're not supposed to open your mouth when you do that. <laughs> so Tati raves about this stuff. I bought some because of her and I really like it. A couple of you have said that you had it though and your spray nozzle didn't work so well and that's a bummer because what is so awesome about this is that the spray is what is the best thing. So if you get one that is functioning properly, it is a really awesome spray. So we're gonna zoom out. I'm gonna take my hair down. We're gonna look at the final look here. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I did a video where I recorded how I got my hair to do this straight look. Let's zoom out. Wow. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. This is so cool. Oh, these are so fun. I've been having a lot of fun doing these. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Leave a comment below, say hello, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Bye.